Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about PyTorch Con 3D. And the following are the topics that we are going to discuss. Firstly, we will understand about PyTorch Con 3D and after that we will discuss about PyTorch Con 3D example and then we will understand about PyTorch Functional Con 3D and after that we will discuss about PyTorch Con 3D padding and then we will understand about PyTorch Con 3D group and in the last we will discuss about PyTorch Con 3D dilation. So without any delay let's jump to the topic and discuss about PyTorch Con 3D. The PyTorch Con 3D is defined as a three dimensional convolution that is applied over an input signal collected of some input planes. The syntax of PyTorch Con 3D is torch.nn.con3d function and within this function we are using some parameters. The first parameter is in underscore channels. It is used as the number of channels in the input image. The next parameter is out underscore channels is used as the number of channels produced by the convolution. The next parameter is kernel underscore size that is used to define as the size of the convolutional kernel. The next parameter is tired that is used to control the tired for the cross coloration and a single number of a one element tuple. The next parameter is padding. Padding is used to control the amount of padding applied to the input. It can be either string or a tuple of the amount of implicit padding and the default value of padding is zero. The next parameter is dilation. Dilation is used to control the spacing between the kernel elements and the default value of dilation is 1. The next parameter is groups. The groups are used to control the connection between the inputs and outputs. The default value of groups is 1. The last but not the least parameter is bias. The default value of bias is true. If it is true, it adds a learnable bias to the output. If it is false, it does not add any learn label bias to the output. Now move forward and discuss about the PyTorch Con 3D example. The PyTorch Con 3D is an easy arithmetic operation. Inside this, we skid a metric or kernel of weights above three dimensional data and performs the element wise multiplication of the data. Now, we will understand the concept of PyTorch Con 3D with the help of an example. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the libraries, here we are declaring the variable by using square kernels and equals stride. And then we are describing the input and output var variable by using torch.random function. And in the last, we want to print the output by using print function. Now, execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch Con 3D values are printed on the screen. Now, move forward and discuss about PyTorch Functional Con 3D. The PyTorch functional con 3D applies a three dimensional convolution over an input image collected from some input planes. The syntax of PyTorch functional con 3D is torch.nn.functional.con3d function. And within this function, we are using some parameters. The first parameter is input. Input is defined as an input tensor of shape. The next parameter is weight. Weight is defined as a filter of shapes. The next parameter is bias. Bias is defined as an optional bias tensor of shapes and the default value of bias is none. The next parameter is stride. 
stride of the convolving kernel and the default value of stride is 1. The next parameter is padding. Padding is used to control the amount of padding applied to the input. It can be either string or a tuple of the amount of implicit padding and the default value of padding is 0. The next parameter is dilation. The dilation is used to control the spacing between the kernel elements and the default value of dilation is 1. The last parameter is groups. Groups are used to control the connection between the inputs and outputs and the default value of groups is 1. Now, we will understand the concept of PyTorch functional cone 3D with the help of an example. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn.functional. After importing the libraries, here we are describing the filter variable and input variable by using torch.random function. And then we are using con3d function. And in the last, we want to print the output by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch functional con 3D values are printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch con 3D padding. The PyTorch con 3D padding is used to control the amount of padding applied to the input. It can be either string or a tuple of given the amount of implicit padding. The default value of padding is 0. Now, we will understand the concept of PyTorch con 3D padding with the help of an example. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the library, here we are declaring the variable by using scare kernels and equal style. And then, we are again declaring the variable by using non scare kernels and unequal stride and with padding. And then we are describing the input and output variables by using torch.random function. And then we want to print the output by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch con 3D padding values are printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch con 3D group. The PyTorch con 3D group is used to control the connection between the inputs and outputs. The default value of groups is 1. Now we will understand the concept of PyTorch con 3D group with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the library, here we are declaring the variable by using scare kernels and equal stride. And then we are declaring the input and output variables by using torch.random function. And then we want to print the output by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch con 3D group values are printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch con 3D dilation. The PyTorch con 3D dilation is used to control the spacing between the kernel elements and the default value of dilation is 1. Now, we will understand the concept of PyTorch con 3D dilation with the help of an example. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import torch.nn. After importing the library, here we are declaring the variable by using scare kernels and equal stride. And then we are declaring the variable by using non-scare kernels and unequal stride with padding. And again we are declaring the variable by using non-scare kernels, unequal stride and with padding and dilation. And then we are describing the input and output variable by using torch.random function. 
and in the last we want to print the output by using print function now execute this cell and you can see that the pytorchcon 3d dilation values are printed on the screen so with this we have covered all the topics related to the pytorchcon 3d if this video was helpful please like this video also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one and here are some youtube video suggestion that you must watch thank you have a nice day